This quick trick will allow you to export a bunch of layers in Photoshop in one hit. This is really great if you've got like say uh, some photos you wanna share on Instagram or maybe you've created a bunch of sort of designs you wanna just crop and put into a certain size or even if you wanna make adjustments. So the way it works, I've got this, uh, these are just some photos of floods that I took in our local area at the start of the year and I've got three layers here. If I have one layer selected and go up to the top of the layers panel, which if you can't see the layers panel, head to window and then layers to turn it on. I go up the top here and I go to export as. And you'll see I can export this one layer. But where it gets interesting is if I select all three layers and go to export as, I can select each individual image for export. Now, before we get into this, I wanna take it a step further. What I can also do is I can turn on what I have a group here that I have turned off. It's got some text and an image within it. If I select these both within the layer, of course, I get the same result. I can export the text and the image separately. But if I actually select the layer, sorry, select the group and the layers all together, then I can go export as. And now I have the group as one, the image, the image, and the image. So I can actually group designs into, a, into an actual group and export that way as well. Which means if you're creating multiple designs that have a simple template, you can just create multiple groups and switch out the images and things like that. So before we get into this even further, one more thing I will show you is you see these images. Uh, what's gonna, I'm gonna change the order a little bit. We're gonna pop this image at the top because of the color. So. If I go into my adjustment layers and I create say a hue saturation layer and I bump that saturation right up to the point where things look almost nuclear, you'll notice now all the images uh, are really soaked in color and they look a little almost disgusting. So now I'm gonna go ahead and go to export as I still need to select all the layers. Now if I select all these and don't select the saturation layer, it still, well actually it still shows, so there you go. But uh, the idea is that you can actually now put a series of images in, create one adjustment layer and export all of these images with that adjustment layer applied. So now we've got all these selected, I can go through one by one and change the format, or I can simply hold one, shift, and click to select all. And now I can create a JPEG file. I can change the quality to low, you can see we've got some very small file sizes here and I can bump it up to high and the file size goes up. So we can actually adjust the quality of JPEGs here. We can then go in if we want to say this one here is over 500 kilobytes. I can take this one down to four and I can change the size, the scale here. I can just simply adjust the scale and uh, I can even change the canvas size if I want to and some basic options. Uh, but quite simply, you can export all these export groups and layers together with adjustment layers applied over the top, which also means if I go cancel, if I move this adjustment layer down below the group, now when I go to export, sorry, I still need to select all these, holding down shift, I go to export as, this one's fine, this one's fine, and these ones have the adjustment layer applied. So now I've decided I wanna go with the JPEG I'm gonna go down the bottom here to export, which is right at the very bottom of the screen because I'm zoomed in. I can go to export. I click select folder and it will export these to that folder, which if I drag across, you'll now see I have these four JPEGs here in this folder. Adjustment layer applied here and not applied there. So just a quick little tip for you in Photoshop. If you're looking to get a lot of work done quickly, instead of trying to save and save and save, you can actually just create one big file place all those images in there or whatever it is. That way you can actually get everything, the exact resolution you want it. Simply export using that setting and get a series of images. Now I did this recently for my website portfolio where I had about say 25 to 30 screenshots of websites and I popped them all into one file at a certain resolution. I was able to export them all into those various images. So it was incredibly handy and uh, worked pretty, pretty well and was uh, saved me a hell of a lot of time. So I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please give it a like. If you're looking for more Photoshop tips, check out my channel and uh, subscribe for more. Otherwise, I hope you have a great day. We'll see you again soon.